In 2023, venture capital funded juggernaut Colossal Biosciences announced an ambitious plan to bring back the famous dodo bird to life after being extinct since the 17th century. This may seem like a regular publicity stunt made to draw attention and funding to the company, but what if we told you that it has already secured $150 million in investment and has even sequenced the genome of the long gone bird? Part of this enormous investment came from a venture capital firm funded by the CIA. These points definitely indicate that something serious may be going on here. If the dodo bird resurrects from extinction, it would open doors to a plethora of new fields and technologies. There could be pet dinosaurs or even real life Jurassic Park. Is the idea and endeavor taken by this company a realistic and plausible one? Or would it be a failure? And if this is possible, then how and when will the first resurrected dodo of the 21st century soil? The dodo was a large, flightless bird that is known for its unique appearance and unfortunate fate of becoming extinct. The bird was native to the island of Mauritius, which is located in the Indian Ocean. It was first discovered by Dutch sailors in the late 16th century. The dodo was one of the first recorded examples of human-caused extinction, with the last sighting of the bird occurring in the late 17th century. One interesting fact about the dodo is that it was flightless, but not because it was too heavy to fly. In fact, the dodo's closest living relative is the Nicobar pigeon, which is capable of flight. It is believed that the dodo's ancestors were capable of flight, but over time they evolved on the isolated island of Mauritius. They had no predators, and eventually lost their ability to fly due to the lack of need for it. The dodo it was an interesting bird, with a plump body, small wings, and a large curved beak. It had a distinctive appearance that made it a popular subject in art and literature. Unfortunately, the dodo was not well suited to defend itself against predators, as it evolved in an isolated island environment without natural predators. When humans arrived on the island, they bought with them non-native species like rats, which destroyed the bird's eggs, and pigs, which destroyed its habitat. Humans also hunted the dodo for its meat and fusion. Despite being gone for hundreds of years, the dodo continues to be studied and has become an icon of extinction. The study of extinct animals and the impact of humans in the natural world led to the rise of companies like Colossal Biosciences, which is a Dallas-based startup of de-extinction science, founded by tech entrepreneur Ben Lam and Harvard University biologist George Church in 2021, having its primary focus on reviving extinct animals. Colossal creates innovative technologies for them, and is aimed at species restoration critical endangered species protection and the repopulation of critical ecosystems that support the continuation of life on Earth. The firm has previously received support from notable companies like Tesla and Skype, and as of 2023, the entire startup is valued at around $1.5 billion. In 2021, the firm had made headlines for announcing its plans to bring back the woolly mammoths and has raised $60 million for the individual project. The company's website claims that the project is well in progress and we can expect a living mammoth somewhere 
during the next six years. The progress is also explained in detail here and going through them you can expect them to be pretty impressive. A year later the firm announced similar plans for the Tasmanian Tiger which has also received decent progress over the years. Nevertheless, the Dodo is the third in line for their de-extinction program. Colossal Biosciences claims that these projects will be used to fix the rapid decline of species and help revive lost ecosystems. Seeing the decent history, reputation and ambition of the project, the next question is how exactly are dead animals back to life. Step 1. Decode the extinct animal's genome. Step 2. Find its nearest living cousin, which is the Nicobar pigeon. Step 3. Screen for genetic differences and replace the living animal's DNA code with that of extinct species. Finally, produce an embryo that can be brought to life in a surrogate species. To bring back the dodo, Colossal Biosciences is working on solving an enormous interacting set of complex problems involving stem cell reprogramming, computational biology, and protein engineering. One of the biggest challenges in the reconstruction of the dodo is a problem for all avian genomics. There is no access to a bird egg cell at the same developmental stage as there is for a mammal. Colossal Biosciences is exploring a process to extract avian primordial germ cells or PGCs from bird eggs. If their process works, PGCs from pigeons will be manipulated and eventually develop into a dodo-like bird. Beth Shapiro, lead paleogeneticist and scientific advisory board member at Colossal Biosciences says even though we're nowhere near ready to start implanting embryos into surrogates the company currently has a team working on the cloning methodology necessary for the process it's a hard task most genetic tools are optimized for mammalian species but those for birds are sorely lacking then comes the surrogate challenge. Dodo eggs are much, much larger than Nicobar pigeon eggs. You couldn't grow a dodo inside of a Nicobar egg. Finding a potential surrogate match for a wild extinct species is far more than said. That said, the rest of the process may be relatively smooth sailing. This rapid progress genome editing and reproductive technologies, Colossal's moonshot project may just work out. But would the resulting animal actually be a dodo? To Dr. Mikkel Seinding at the University of Copenhagen, we need to consider both nature and nurture. Genetics is just one aspect that defines a species. Societal interactions and the environment further shape species behavior, but for a resurrected dodo, there is no one around to teach the dodo how to be a dodo. Then there are ecological concerns. Even if the dodo retains its natural instincts, it would be brought back into a world that hasn't existed for 300 years. The bird originally thrived in Mauritius. Today the island is facing deteriorating forests, oil leaks, and plastics in its surrounding waters. Would an engineered dodo survive in that ecosystem? And if not, is it ethical to raise the creatures solely inside a zoo or otherwise controlled environment purely for our enjoyment? These questions don't yet have an answer. However, Scientists hope that the dodo may highlight environmental issues due to their superstar power. The project could help propel a 
efforts to restore the island's natural ecosystem, including endemic plants and other animals. In terms of technology, lessons learned along the way could cross over into biotech and medicine. For example, EGC aided reproduction, ultimately with a far wider reach than the extinction. There's a new set of potential tools here, a new set of possibilities and opportunities. Quoted by Dr. Ronald Sandler, the director of Essex Institute at Northeastern University in Boston. 